Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here for our annual Halloween pumpkin carving segment. Hi, Lisa. This is one of my favorite segments of the I year know. because this is one of you. This is something you taught me how to do. Every and I, year you get super psyched about this. I get this. super psyched about this. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa is the first person who said use the stem of the pumpkin Look at that. as Pretty the cool. nose. I know he looks a little angry. Isn't doesn't that he? no? Isn't that a great idea? <laughs> now show everybody. Here's and another you put one. The, you put you put the candle. Yeah. Right show there. everybody yes. how you do it. So basically, I car I carve my pumpkins when they're still intact. I don't mm -hmm. hollow them out first. So you just draw the face on so and tilt him so everybody can yep, see his and carve, little teeth. <laughs> this, and carve him out. And then I take out the bottom, clean it out. Mm -hmm. And then I like to set them in trees. They look sort of creepy in a big oak tree when the kids come up for Halloween. Oh, that's cool. such a good idea. Yes. Yeah, so then you put the candle in the bottom. Put the candle inside. Here's yes. another one. Look at the nose on this one. It's so fun to try to find pumpkins with big stems because they That's all right. have different personalities. Best place to do it is at the pumpkin patch because I think that they dock the stems so mm -hmm. they can ship them when they come when they go to big in big crates to grocery stores and stuff. So go to go to a pumpkin patch. Okay. Now in addition to carving them differently, a lot of people are painting and coloring pumpkins yes, more. Yes. Yes, and you know they're they're just painting their coloring with markers and there was a technique a couple years ago with water and spray paint mm -hmm. yes which is really fun but it's really messy and I don't think it's as easy for kids okay so this is with nail polish so I found this on the internet and they said to use Sally Hansen I don't know why so I now this it. is just water this is room temperature water oops I just dropped some on your desk that's okay okay so you just kind of swirl it you want to put it kind of close to the water so that it doesn't sink then you just take the pumpkin or a gourd and you Oh, look See at how that. it picks it up? Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, is that interesting? Look at that. There you go. Yeah, get a shot up close on that. See how that, look at that. So it makes it sort of marbleized. And if you did it faster than we did it, because we had the, mm -hmm. it's sort of sitting, um, sitting on there, it was kind of filmy. So if you work fast and as soon as you get the nail polish on there, dip it in, then you get a more delicate looking. Oh, color. that is such a great really idea, cool. and especially for the little gourds like yes, that. Yes, or perfect. it's fabulous on little white ones. But even I even use the dark one here, and just use lighter colors of nail polish. Oh, that is so interesting. It's kind of snazzy. Yeah, yeah it's very kind of fun. Neat. They take about an hour to dry. Um, great activity. For yeah, the kids. super easy for kids on a Real rainy quick, day. Real quick, what do you got going on over here with the big one? Uh, this is my constellation pumpkin. I actually have to say I saw this in Martha Stewart's magazine, mm -hmm. and so this is the night sky at midnight on Halloween. Oh, wow. Because you wow. can go online and find pictures of where all the constellations are in the sky, and then you just go put around that, and carve it. Put that candle inside, and you've put got the constellations. Yep. So here we go. It's empty. Oh, I would love to see that one all lit up. How long did that take you? This one was pretty, it's pretty fast because it's just holes and lines. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not like a lot of sculpting or anything, but it was fun. How and did my you husband do the lines? Helped. With a linoleum just, cutter? I used the linoleum cutter for the lines. My husband used the drill. I put the X's where they were, so he drilled the holes, and then you. And then you put the north and south. North and south and east and west, and then I like clay cutters to carve out the inside because right. you want the flesh to be thin so that the light shows mm -hmm. through it, and the thinner it is, the brighter it's going to be. Oh, great idea! So yes. there'll be a lot of pumpkins getting carved this weekend. I know, I'm sure. such good ideas, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it really is. Thanks, Lise. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween Are to you Are you going to put these guys in your trees this year? I think first they're going to go to my neighbor's refrigerator. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so, so I see if I, think I can get them to hold for yeah, it's Halloween. It's been warm. It's yeah, been warm. I know. All right, have Lisa, a good one. Thanks. Good to Lisa, see you, Lisa. Thanks. Thank you. We'll be right back after a quick break.